Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for my newest build video. So, this is an unboxing of the Midnight Pumpkin Metallic Special Edition. I thought I would do this uh, with Halloween coming up. It would be a good fun one to get up on the bench, uh, build it up. Pretty much standard, I think. Uh, a few modifications that I've got in the box, but more sort of cosmetic stuff rather than anything that's going to change the performance. Uh, I'm building this up so I can... You know, running about with my daughter's lunchbox, which is a, a, a bright pink thing. And I didn't want something that was quite as, uh, well, let's say pink as that. But something that uh, equally is as fun uh, and, and entertaining to drive. And this one's got this wonderful metallic body, uh, which I think is just something a bit different. So I'm going to do a little unboxing video, show you what we've got inside this, uh, this special edition kit. So let's see what we've got inside here. We've got um, transmission brace in there, which I got off eBay. Some additional um, little supports in there for the uh, for the body mounts. See those there. I've heard that they can be quite fragile, so I thought for a couple of pounds it seemed worth getting. An extra pair just in case anything anything should happen you know I'm gonna roll this thing several times I would imagine waterproof servo we're going with a hobby wing 1060 ESC again waterproof uh, nothing special there great little tip I found out as well is that the uh, the switch clips on side of the ESC there which I didn't know about that was really cool, so that just clips on there, slides into the groove channels and uh, saves me having to find out where I'm mounting that switch, which is really handy. I can't seem to get it on there, but it does clip on. Bearings, always important. Just a fly sky receiver, nice and simple for the electronics, nothing special again. Um, I've gone with some orange shocks from JKRC. Um, oil field, hopefully going to take out some of the uh, some of the bounce that this thing's got. But also, I've heard it helps with the um, the the, uh, the the front wheels. They 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 sort of tow quite a bit, and that's going to help straighten them up a little bit. Um, and we got look at this, look at that, nice chrome finished to it already painted so it makes it nice and easy for me when I'm putting this thing together I've got a regular Tamiya bathtub same as you get on all these uh, these uh, lunchbox type vehicles got loads of chrome body grills and headlights the shocks which of course we won't be using and some more there look in a special edition you see there's plenty of, plenty of chrome the big old tires that go on this one those all-terrain tires keep bouncing around a lot and then we've got here i love it when tamia do these boxes with all the bits and pieces in they're really cool i've still got my um lunchbox one kicking around somewhere with a load of parts in and again in here there's some more chrome parts there's chrome wheel hubs that look really cool and then a whole bunch of Part bags in there, standard motor. We've got the, the bushings which just get chucked into the bag, never to be used, never to be seen again. Yeah, we should do some funny bushy uh, plastic bushing art where uh, we make some various different shapes. I've seen people do it with screws, we do screw art, we should do bushing art maybe. That's a, a video for the future. And then with this one, we've got some great decals. I mean, they're not the same as the original Midnight Pumpkin details, but you know, I quite like them with this sort of carriage approach. My daughter's going to go crazy for that. Um, she'll probably want to switch, and I'll be driving her very, very pink lunchbox around, and she'll be driving this. But uh, so is the life, eh? The rest of it's just some standard plastic parts. Looking forward to building this. Hope you guys are too. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.